Howdy folks and welcome back to the Cheaters Corner and let me lay out a scenario here for you in Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain because this happens to me all the time. So you've taken some time off from the game, you've played other things, maybe Dragon's Dogma, maybe Star Wars The Old Republic, something else and then you decided like man I really want to play something stealthy. Uh, so you come back to Metal Gear Solid The Phantom Pain just to find out that when you logged in uh, that somebody had invaded your base while you were offline and taken a bunch of soldiers and a bunch of resources. Ouch. Uh, this happened to me. I had about a f several month layoff uh, from you know playing this game at all, and I came back and I just found a ton of stuff was missing, and that really sucked, man. It, it feels terrible to have your hard work taken by other players. So after doing some research, I found Sheet Engine and found a way to go ahead and get soldiers back to replace the ones that I was missing without having to do the grind. So I'm saying this right now to address those concerns from players who are like, "You cheaters! You ruin games for everybody!" And this is why I hate cheaters and hate gaming and hate you. Okay, I, I value your opinion. Thank you so much for commenting. Um, I had somebody say that to me on my channel, which is why I'm redoing this video, actually, for you. So thank you, sir. Uh, I do listen. But I do want to address the concerns because the place that I'm coming from to do this and the place that I encourage players to do this is simply to replace things that you are missing. Um, in no way, shape, or form is this w to make war on another person's base or make somebody else's life miserable. And uh, I do play this in the offline mode to make sure that that doesn't happen. So uh, if you guys are playing online and you do try to take a cheat engine script for, say, infinite health and try to take that into an online battle, I can guarantee you that's not going to work. Uh, the servers on the server end, you know, for uh, the game developers, they are checking for those kinds of scripts to make sure that cheaters like that don't come in. So if somebody did come in and take stuff out of your base, they're just probably a really good player. And I'm also going to tell you this, if you're about to do what I'm about to show you how to do, you're painting a target on your back uh, and your FOB. If you have any sort of online presence, uh, it'll show how many S++ soldiers you have. And if it's, you know, your entire base, Somebody's gonna raid it to take it. You know, some Xbox player out there, some PS4 player out there is gonna see it and just go, "I'm taking it." So buyer beware. Uh, for me, I use this to say, "Man, I just don't want to grind those 38 soldiers back." That's cool. He took it, no problem. C'est la vie, such as life. I'm gonna go into the you know cheat engine. I'm gonna turn it on for you know three minutes. I'm gonna get all those soldiers back, and I'm just gonna call it a day. You know, I'm not gonna invade some other poor sap and take his stuff just because my, my stuff got taken by somebody else. Here we go. So uh, we're going to open up the rewards menu in the Mother Base uh, tab, all right, where I already have some uh, dispatch missions and stuff like that that's done. And you might notice that I already have one dispatch mission reward that's set at 50,000. This is from the first time I did this video. I just wanted to show you you can plug in any number here when you do this. But uh, here we go. I'm going to go ahead and Alt-Tab into Cheat Engine. I'm going to make sure Cheat Engine is running. Uh, you can do that by clicking on the computer icon over here in the upper left and making sure that the Metal Gear Solid uh, Phantom Pain executable is, is running, All right, which mine is. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Reward Editor. Now there's several different slots for this. Uh, for today, let's just go ahead and focus in on Reward Slot 1. For this particular table, this designer put in a lot of different things here. Um, it kind of makes it look very, very confusing. It's actually a lot simpler than we you know, think. I'm actually going to open up Reward Slot 2 to show you the difference, and uh, we're going to take a look at both. So, first up, I'm going to go back into the game. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of the Rewards menu, go back into it really quick, and that refreshes everything in the game. And when I Alt-Tab back into Cheat Engine, I should see now that this has been repopulated with information from those two missions, which it has. And you can see here under Reward Slot 1, all right, that the reward was for S++ soldiers and that the count was for 44 all right now if uh let's say i'm going to go in here and i'm going to find something that here we go here's one for c c rank soldiers that is one two three that is slot number five okay i'm going to go in here slot number five okay and you can see that here do to do you know just going through the motions here but slot five three soldiers okay so you can see these things get populated up now if i want to change this Here's how you do it. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm telling the game that I had it. I've completed a dispatch mission, and now that the reward for that mission is S plus plus soldiers at you know this amount. Uh, you can set that amount to any amount that you want. Um, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and click on blueprint type. I'm going to change this to zero. I'm going to change the reward type to S plus plus soldiers on this menu. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put reward type and origin to zero. If you don't know just put zero 
Officer type, also zero, which is going to be random. That's fine. And the quantity, I'm going to go ahead and put, in this case, I'm going to put 38. 38 soldiers was what I lost last time, so that's the number I'd want. Okay, I'm going to click OK, and I'm just going to make sure that all of these are checked. So that way, whatever uh, reward shifts into slot 5 will always be this. All right, so uh, to update the you know the rewards menu, I'm going to exit out of the rewards menu, exit back or enter back in, and voila, slot number 5, dispatch mission rewards, 38 soldiers. And with just those few clicks, I get all those soldiers back from uh, you know from having my base invaded. It's just that simple, guys. That's all there is to it. Now, I am going to say, use this at your own risk, okay? If you do have a base full of S++ soldiers, you're painting a bullseye on your back saying to everybody with a, you know an online presence that can see you, invade me. On the other hand, if you're the kind of player who you know just doesn't want the hassle of trying to go and invade somebody else's base or you know recruit these guys in the field, this is a great solution. Last but not least, I do have one other proviso to this. Uh, you do have to have the rewards menu available to you in order to use this. So you have to be past mission 22, and you have to be uh, able to send out a combat deployment. And the only way that happens is if you have an active security team with at least 10 different soldiers that can go out on the very first mission. But that's all you need, at least 10 soldiers, uh, be that far in the story to be able to send people out of your base to do a combat deployment and they have to succeed once they do you will have for sure the rewards menu ready to roll uh, when you click on there you can edit the uh, slot reward that you want using the cheat engine to get the soldiers that you need so um, recently I had a corruptive save you know, uh, I'd use an old version of Cheat Engine because I lost half my base to offline invasions while I was outside of the game. I came back and I was like, man, that's just that just doesn't work. And I used a, an old version of Cheat Engine and I corrupted my save. That really sucked. I started the game over uh, with a new save. And as soon as I got to Mission 22, uh, or a little bit past it, and was able to send out combat you know, deployments, uh, I literally just walked into here, came into this menu, and gave myself a base full of guys, S++ rank and then just edited them using the tips from the first video I made to you know give them the rank that I wanted and what a relief you know it, it saved so much time I could just go back and enjoy playing the story part of the game which is what I wanted to do you know I didn't want to have to keep logging into this game and just manage things based off of what people had stolen from me alright so uh, that being said that's it that's all I got for you guys uh, you know be aware that uh, karma can be you know a fickle mistress so if you are using these tips and using cheat engine uh, just be aware back up your saves uh, and if you do use these don't be mi don't be causing trouble online guys uh, I'm showing you this to help your single player experience run a lot smoother uh, you know and I find that it's a huge relief to be able to pick these things back up and then not be aggressive to other players uh, hopefully you get the same uh, benefits out of this too all right Take care, guys. I hope this was helpful. Like my page if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see more things like it. And I'll see you next time.